I wanted to make a video about my first semester as a physics major and any advice that I would have given to myself before I actually started my first semester and maybe some other people can find use in it as well. So I had five classes, but there's really two main classes that I want to talk about. And that was Honors Physics 1 and Honors Calc 3. Because the other class is just pale in comparison to how difficult these two were. And these are like the most exciting classes that I took probably in terms of my actual physics degree. So Honors Physics 1, that was the easier class of the two. Honors Calc 3, I'll talk about it in a second, but that one was extremely difficult. Um, it was really a rude awakening. So Honors Physics 1, we took... Well, the beginning part is what you'd expect. We took all of, you know, classical mechanics like translational and rotational motion and gravitation. And then the latter third of the class we took, um, we learned about waves, sound, fluid dynamics, and thermodynamics. And that was a little, it was a little different because I never took a physics class with fluid dynamics or sound or even thermo. I had some background, like I knew what the Doppler effect was. I knew what PV equals NRT was from just self-study and then from chemistry class but i never learned it in a physics setting so that was a little different but this is the main thing that i had to do to actually pass that class <coughs> before attending lecture i had to study the lecture notes beforehand i could not attend lecture and fully understand what the professor was talking about without studying a little bit myself so that would be my main advice get ready to study before your classes because you're going to need to do it for probably the remainder of your college career. And it also doesn't hurt. Even if you're understanding the lectures, you could get, uh, you can further your perspective by already knowing the basics and going to lecture to advance your understanding. And then you can ask better questions too. You're not gonna spend time asking questions on the basic things when you can ask questions on the more advanced things that you might think of now that you already actually know the basics of the subject. So my physics class, really, I just have to get used to putting in a lot of time, reading lecture notes before lectures, and spending a lot of time on the homework. Get ready to spend a lot of time on the homework. Every homework I had, which was once a week, I spent probably five hours on it. Maybe even more, more or less, depending on the difficulty, the time in the semester, and whether or not the answers were online. I have a decent bit of pride, so I didn't really let myself just look up the answer. So I spent a lot of time on the problems, just trying to work through them. So get ready to spend a lot of time on the homeworks and studying before lecture and even after lecture. There's just so much information you have to squeeze in, especially for the final, that it just becomes very stressful. So just really get used to studying. So now for my Cal class. So first of all, if you want to just see the textbook that we used, like textbook, you can look up 291 Carlin notes. And it was written by a Rutgers professor. It was something like 380 pages long, I think. And a lot of typos, bad explanations, complicated explanations. It was just a very difficult math class. So yeah, that was the textbook for Honors Calc 3. And it, it's kind of strange because there's Calc 3, then there's Honors Calc 3, and then there was our Honors Calc 3, which is like the highest Calc 3 that you can take, especially as a freshman. And it was a proof-based class, and I never took a proof-based class before. In high school, everything is really computational. You're not going to have to write a proof in high school, at least in my experience. So this was a very rude awakening. There's this computational side of math that I grew to love in high school, and I feel like most people in high school grow to love. And then there's this theory to math, which is really the what math is. Like, what is the fundamental theorem of calculus? Do you really know as a high school student? I didn't. I did not know as a junior and a senior in high school. I just understood like the basic idea behind it and how to plug in the numbers to get an answer. But to actually prove the fundamental theorem of calculus, that is much more difficult than just understanding it and plugging in numbers. And that is the idea behind proof-based math. You don't just have the formulas. You have to actually prove stuff. And... There was a lot of linear algebra in this class as well. And if you've taken linear algebra, then you probably also know, like that, I think linear algebra is the math where people start to do proofs for the first time because <coughs> it's easier to do proofs in linear algebra. It's really easy to prove that 
the transpose of a plus b is just a transpose plus b transpose. You can kind of just see how the numbers get manipulated in the matrix and they just turn out to be of that form. And that might not make sense for people who haven't taken linear algebra, but the point is, is that proof-based math is the rigorous step-by-step -step logic behind how a formula actually, how a formula was actually arrived to. So it was different. It was hard to get used to. So that's the main reason that that class is really difficult. And I had to put in a lot of hours to reading the notes just to understand what was going on. So just get ready. If you like math, then you're probably going to have, and, and you're becoming like a math major or a math minor, then you're probably going to be taking proof-based math classes. So just try to get used to writing proofs, maybe do some practice before the semester. Now, the other three classes I took were the flow of time. It was a seminar, so it only lasted like three quarters of the semester, Japanese and a classical physics lab. And those were just trivial classes compared to these ones. So I really just wanted to talk about my experience with this because I feel like this, th these two classes are what highlight all the advice I would have given to myself before I started the semester.